Um, do you know something is in Russian? Like. <laughs> okay, so you're almost ready for search engine optimization for Yandex. <laughs> But um, yeah, I will talk about, uh, not about the search engine optimization, but about how Yandex Metrica can help you uh, with uh, your website optimization, which can help you for search engine optimization. Uh, I'm responsible for Yandex Metrica promotion, working for more than two years in Yandex uh, with Yandex Metrica, promoting it globally. Uh, not only in Russia and CIS, but also for all our countries. And I used to work in uh, Google Russia for promoting Google Analy Analytics, so I'm pretty familiar with the tool. And before that, I used to work for more than 10 years uh, for like agencies, uh, client side, and uh, um, doing different stuff like marketing, analytics, uh, and also the search engine optimization. So, uh, usually uh, people are <laughs> thinking that uh, Yandex Metrica is an analytical tool for Russians. Uh, it's actually not true, <laughs> because uh, we have a lot of people uh, who use Metrica as an analytical tool, as uh, the primary or secondary analytical tool uh, in different countries. And uh, right now we have pretty the same number of clients uh, in Russia and outside of Russia. So uh, in comparison, and I want to, to tell you that in Russia we have uh, Yandex Metrica used by more than 65% of clients of websites. You can see that market share more than 65%, it's pretty a lot. So it is actually a leading second largest analytical platform, which can help you to investigate how people are using your website. Do they have any problems on, the, on your website? Uh, what traffic source they use? Uh, how they convert? And uh, all that different other stuff. We will see it later. So, but uh, let's start to ask with asking the question. Like 10 years ago, the king was, I don't know, the content maybe in search engine optimization. Do you rem remember the motto, the content is the king? Yeah? Um, I don't know who, who, who is now, but uh, you, you tell me. Who is the king now? Is it content or something, something else? Yeah, actually, I I'm, I'm totally agree. Uh, I think, I also think that uh, the kind now is user. And it doesn't matter uh, how people are coming to your website, from search engines, or from ads, or from, I don't know, referrals, uh, social networks. Uh, if uh, your website is not answering on their questions, if your website is not uh, providing that information they need, they will go back to the search engines or social networks or I don't know where, and uh, they will, will do and find something on the other websites. So uh, when people come into your website, uh, what they can see there? They can see your technical problems. <laughs> like what, for example? Uh, for example, they can see your four or four pages, or some mistakes, or uh, two slow web landing pages, or something like that. Or your, may, your site may not respond, just disappear <laughs> from the server. And uh, in Metrica, we have a special tool uh, called monitoring, which shows uh, how, man, how many times it takes uh, for the website to not, re for not to respond. And uh, here in this example, you can see that uh, more than one hour the website was not responding, and uh, people came to, um, which, which came to this website can't just open it. And actually, uh, this monitoring tool is totally free as Yandex Metrica, and uh, it can send you the information as SMS or email immediately when it uh, sees that your website is not working. 
Uh, people can also uh, face uh, the really long, slow, um, long, long time loading pages. And uh, here we have this, the special solution for um, investigating what pages are, are loading pretty slow, which pages take a, lot, a, lot, a long time to, to load. Uh, and uh, you can actually just uh, with a couple of clicks uh, just put it on your dashboard. Why pages take so long to load? Sometimes it's because of uh, different uh, types of devices. Sometimes, uh, like in this example, you can see that uh, in average it takes two seconds uh, for the page to start to load and more than five seconds till the end of loading. These two different metrics. And uh, if we compare desktop and mobile devices, we can see that the huge difference between uh, the time of loading uh, between desktop and mobile devices. And it takes really a lot of time to, to load for tablets, for example. Okay, TV viewers, about 19 seconds, but uh, the numbers are really low and uh, it's not significant data to, uh, to, to, to investigate. And uh, um, it is not only the, the device type or not only the slow connection in some region or in some country, in some city, in some place. Uh, it is also maybe some kind of browser plugins which can stop or different scripts to load on your website. If you have uh, asynchronous scripts, it may be work, but uh, some, some scripts can be blocked by, by, by browser plug plugins and uh, your page will stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you, have, uh, you, can, you can change your content and uh, your URLs can, can be I don't know, uh, can be not found from the search engines uh, or um, from the internal search. And uh, you can easily see what pages are not found by using the title uh, segment. Like if you have a special name in title, page is not found or 404 mistake or something similar, you can just uh, make a segment and see what exact URLs are not, uh, uh, doesn't have any content on it. And sometimes there are no, not only people uh, coming to your website. Mm. There are a lot of robots hiding themselves or showing themselves uh, as uh, like uh, ad checkers or Google web pre preview crawlers, or different other robots which uh, can, can go to your website and increase your traffic. And not only increase your traffic, but also uh, change the, your uh, KPIs, like conversions, like time on site, like uh, page views, or something like that. So uh, here we have a special report called Robots Traffic, and it shows you uh, the dynamics of robots traffic, numbers of robots and names of their robots, which, which is not hiding themselves. And actually, the small one the tip, you can see the percentage of robots which comes to your website from ad systems. Because ad systems sometimes may send robots to your website too. So, but when they are talking about uh, the different, uh, um, different people, visitors coming to your website, uh, we are talking about uh, not only the current session, but about the whole history of communicating with these people. And uh, uh, when you're starting to optimize your website, 
uh, you're optimizing not only content, not only pictures, not only the heavy, uh, how heavy, heavy the, your videos or I don't know what, uh, but you're optimizing the whole communication with, uh, with the current customers and newcomers.